All right, welcome to week five, day two of South Park and Society. The real Dr. Dre staying in the barn on this gloomy afternoon. It's raining out, you can probably hear it. Hold on. Well, I love it on my Kubota tractor. Integrity, anyways. Um, yeah, today we're gonna talk a little bit about celebrity in South Park. It is incredibly hard, painfully hard to, you know, settle on an episode or two to deal with celebrity in South Park because celebrity manifests in so many episodes of South Park, prominently through illusion, intertextually, in so many ways. Um, but I had to really just settle on on three episodes that I think are important. So you should have watched more crap, a total rip on Bono, who, who deserves it. Um, and then we're gonna watch episodes 200 and 201 that deal with celebrity, they deal with censorship, they are self-reflexive and meta, as in they deal with um, the whole censorship issues that South Park had to deal with with Comedy Central with um, the Cartoon Wars. Uh, uh, episodes a few years before. Um, ironically, since it deals with censorship and control, this ep episode 201 was heavily censored. Um, I've provided you with a link on the module uh, to an archived copy of the uncensored version and also in this uh, series of lectures I'll include the uncensored ending to episode 201. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit about the function of celebrity in South Park and, you know, how Matt and Trey treat celebrities and the nature of celebrities uh, in general. But I had to focus on 200 and 201 since it brings back everybody who South Park has ripped on, um, all of the celebrities, prominently featuring Tom Cruise, who had one of the most, how would you say, adverse reactions to uh, the Trapped in the Closet episode that we will watch when we talk about Scientology and religion. So I got to ask you, you know, straight up, like, what is the role of celebrity in society? What role does celebrity play in your lives, like, or celebrities play in your lives? And also, you know, what is their purpose? What is their role? What, what do they do? It's kind of an interesting thing to actually think about, specifically when I ask, what do they actually do? And what do they actually do for you? Now, that's hard to really identify, but maybe they do actually nothing <laughs> for you and nothing for society in general. And that's one of the common themes that Matt and Trey and South Park has sort of taken um, throughout its history is that you know, celebrities don't really actually do anything, yet they claim that they do lots, and they're recognized for doing things that maybe they don't do. And I think, you know, we have to really think about this, is what makes a celebrity? Think if you kind of peel it back and get to the heart of the Walmart, it's a mirror, it's you. now meaning you create the celebrity, your interest in them, your commodification, you know, you're, you're uh, partaking in the commodification by consuming their images or their content or, you know, liking their posts on social media help to create their celebrity. You're part of that. But their authority as celebrities and celebrities who talk out on social issues or social causes, etc., their authority comes from us. We enable it. We're enablers. <laughs> okay? And I think that's something that's incredibly important and something that South Park likes to get into is they like to strip them of their authority, particularly by aligning them with, guess what? The lower body stratum. So, uh, thinking about the readings and um, 
in general, I think it's important to look at how celebrities are constructed. How are they made? How are they manufactured? Because they are manufactured um, and then remanufactured. So, in terms of the reading, how it discusses how celebrity manifests is, you can think about it like this. You know, hey, someone's successful, a good at basketball. They're good at making money. They're good at playing video games. They're attractive. Um, they have lots of money. Could make them a celebrity, you know? So, I mean, um, it could be as simple as that, being successful in something or having money, okay? The media plays an incredible role in celebrification, in manufacturing, of celebrities, um, and that's really, really important. The media plays, a f I mean, a fundamental role. If there was not social media, there wouldn't be a lot of social media celebrities. There wouldn't be a lot of YouTube celebrities. Um, a lot of this, though, all dips back to our fascination. My wife watches the fucking Housewives shows and, like, other dumb shit on Bravo and E, Kardashian shit, Shaws of sunset crap. I don't get it. Like, I don't get it at all. But she and others are fascinated with these people, I guess, you know, and their drama and their bullshit. That helps to construct them. And then obviously our consumption of these images or consumption of them, you know, often through social media now. Um, discourse helps to create this. So discourse, um, you know, the construction of them through media, how people talk about these, these people amongst one another, referencing text, et cetera, et cetera. But you have to think about celebrities are people who are, are commodified. They're, they can be bought and sold in a, in a marketplace, and they are frequently bought. Just think about influencers. Ugh. <laughs> Just think about influencers, though, right? Um, but yeah, brand ambassadors, whatever. These people, celebrities, are bought and sold in a marketplace. They are commodified. They're human beings commodified. 